Right, Lars and Leila, I'm going to be quiet from this point so you can hear. That is the back of the house. So we come on in, it's three bedrooms, three bathrooms. It's the original owner's property. And we come on down through here. What you'll see is lots of bougainvillea. And then it suddenly opens up to the sea. This is the part in question where there's a diagonal line from there to there that could be reclaimed as its public land, but it wouldn't make sense because the paseo, which you see is here, would continue on a straight line and it wouldn't make sense to come inland. So this is the pool area, sit from a different angle. Lots of outside terraces. Here is a lovely place to come and hang out. So a really nice shaded terrace. There's a view and just to show you more clearly, that's the paseo which we we're just on. So you'd continue along that land, sorry, along that line. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through the property. So coming on in, we have one of the bedrooms here. Okay, it's got a really nice Mediterranean feel to it. There are other people doing a viewing right now. Okay, so that's bedroom number one, good side, leading straight off there. This is a shared bathroom. Here's the living area. I'll show you the kitchen in a minute. Straight onto another terrace here to the side. Right, this is a little passageway. Bear this in mind, you can expand into it. I'll go in the kitchen in a minute. It's just a chocker block with people. This is the second bedroom you can see here. Again, really nice sea view straight out from the bed. And this is the ensuite, a small ensuite, really just a toilet, okay? If we go out here onto this terrace, you can see a little utility space here with an outside shower. So really quirky. Obviously, you'll have to do some things to it. Okay, just gonna go back inside to show you the kitchen area. So we're back inside. This is the kitchen area here, okay. Right, to get to the bottom level, you continue outside. along here. Now I'm going to be quiet here so you can hear what the noise level's like. Little bit of road but more of a sea. So here we go, you go down these stairs to get to the bottom half of the property. Really nice terrace here. I'll do some sun shots to show you how the sun moves. So this is that charming blue gate you saw from the other side and then down here there's loads of little nooks and areas where you can be in the sun out of the sun so it's this little part here as we've shown you on the diagram i doubt it will be reclaimed because why would they come inland and sort of make the paseo a zigzag there's some more areas there to escape the sun okay and I'll be quiet here so you can hear what the sound is like. Okay, so just to reorientate you, we go back here and this would be the ground floor apartment, let's call it. So this is where you find that third bedroom. Really charming, it's big. This is a bar area. Obviously, it would need ripping out, but you can make a cool, fun kind of entertaining area down here and at this level there is a long bathroom you can see the washing machine there and a shower in the corner again you'd probably need to do something significant there but there's a doorway to the outside world there okay so that is the property i hope i've shown you everything let me just do it from a different angle okay 
the rain is about to come down so I'm standing on the part which could be lost but unlikely to be but Santiago can check that out and give you a risk analysis we are approximately I would say five minutes drive to the port of Estepona five to ten minutes but of course your clients could cycle all along the Paseo and if the mayor does something with it that'll increase the value.